Shout out to Slow Silver Creations for making this awesome intro. Link to her channel in the description. So today we're gonna to be doing something a little interesting, a little different. We're gonna be designing and 3D modeling a microscopic ash particle. Well, I guess this story really begins with this. Um, this is a jar of Mount St. Helens ash that I got from my grandpa. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare some slides. All right, so uh, this is the way I'm gonna make my slides. I'm gonna make one dry one and one wet one, and we'll see the comparison between the two and see the difference. That'll look kind of interesting to see. He was saying how this stuff would get into engines and ruin engines, um, because essentially it's apparently really sharp. Um, so I'm, I'm intrigued to look at this and actually see if it's really, really sharp, like razor sharp, or if it's just like a bead and that's what makes it sharp. I'm curious on what to see what this actually looks like. I guess let's get started. Oh gosh, it's a... Uh, it is an odd material, I will say that right now. I think the best way to approach this is I'm just gonna use the lid. Yeah, you can, um, you can feel the texture of it. I just took a pinch of it and felt it and that's a tough texture very very rough so it's probably gonna ruin my slide <laughs> all right so there's my dry sample so now what we're gonna do is just set that aside I'm gonna make a wet one now so there's my wet slide you can uh, barely just see it there so let's go ahead and look at it find a particle we like and 3d model it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and try the dry slide first let's go ahead and put that in all right, so let's go ahead and look at this and see what we're looking at. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the scope focused in here. All right, so it looks like we are focused. Let's go ahead and get closer into this one little spot here. I'm gonna see these little particles, so. All right, um, let's zoom in a little closer. All right, so it looks like the dry material is just gonna give us blobs which are perfectly fine, um, but it's not gonna uh, actually give us very much look into this piece. Let's actually pull the dry one out and put the wet one in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Oh yeah, this looks like a, um... oh wow, look at that. Oh yeah. Um, so I think in order to get a closer look at what we're looking at, let's go ahead and zoom in just a touch. So here we go. Wow, look at that. I, is, that is the most intriguing piece of material I've ever seen. This is actually very cool. So let's try to find a particle. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one right here. One's in the uh, center of the screen there. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that. Okay, so there's the uh, particle we were just looking at. Look at that one, that looks, uh, that looks very sharp. So these almost look like little tiny um, blurbs. Uh, they don't look very uh, important. Um, they look like dust, to be honest. Um, and every once in a while you see some pretty sharp looking ones. Uh, but what's intriguing about this is you notice how clear these particles are. Here's a really cool chunk right in here. Wow, that's cool. You can see how these chunks are very slivery, very neat. I'm just gonna a little, a little exploring here. I'm gonna go this way. I'm um, right into some. Ooh! Wow! Wow! This is uh, amazing. Oh, here's the edge of my material, and boop! I'm out. Boop! Nothing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head back. So after a while of searching, I found this piece, and I think I'm gonna 3D model this piece. If we zoom out on these pieces, uh, you can see it's kind of a different color than the rest, um, and looks standout-ish. All right, so I guess let's get 3D modeling. All right, so the model is done. So let's go ahead and get printing. All right, so um, there's a problem with the part. Look, it just, there's this um, bunch of melted plastic on the top of the part. 
I printed it over and over and over and over. I have printed this part so many times. It's just, it's ridiculous. And every single time I printed it, it had that same exact problem with it. So eventually I got it to work though. The first original piece was this piece. I printed out, which is kind of a miniature version, but I thought I'd do a bigger one. So I printed the bigger one as well. So essentially, this is at least the general shape of what I saw in the microscope. Um, definitely it looked like a smoother surface than this particular part. Um, I gave it a rough surface though, because I figured I was looking at all the other particles and I was kind of seeing them and they all had rough surfaces to them as well. And, and it, to imagine that I was looking through something that you couldn't see with the naked eye and making it so you can see it with the naked eye. That that's, to me is cool. This ash particle that I've designed here, you gotta imagine, it traveled a very long ways from hot boiling lava through the air and it traveled all the way to my grandpa after that entire journey and my grandpa gave it to me. And that says to me, very cool that that little ash particle had traveled that entire way through that entire journey miles away from me. That tiny little thing that no one could see, no one paid attention to, and it was just floating through the air and landed and was stored in a jar and was eventually given to me. Well, I printed this part in a red plastic um, because it had a reddish hinge to it. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll print it in red plastic. Um, I don't know why that reddish hinge is there. I don't know if it was the kind of material it's made out of or if it's dried lava or if it's just the stone that was torn apart when that volcano blew. Um, my background in volcano stuff is zero, so I know absolutely nothing about them, besides the fact that they spew out ash and lava. Um, either way, it is very cool and very awesome. This is definitely something that I'll have to take to my grandpa and show him because he was very curious to know what that ash would look like inside of a microscope. So it's something that I'll definitely have to take to grandpa and say, here grandpa, have an ash particle. <laughs> uh, if there's anything you might want to see looked at through a microscope, definitely post a comment down below and I'll see if I even have the material and if I do, I may look at it. Have a great day and we'll see you next week.